The only possibility to spare the American troops from total annihilation is their honorable surrender, which will also prevent the slaughter of helpless civilians. You have one hour of truth to reply. What is it? I don't understand it. From the American commander of Postonia to the German commander. Nuts. Nuts. The men under his command were freezing to death. A brutal winter storm caught them completely unprepared without enough warm weather gear. They were running out of ammunition, and they were surrounded by the enemy. So when the German commander sent word to American General Anthony Clement and delivered an ultimatum of surrender, the general sent back a one-word response that to this day stands as the most famous quote from the Battle of the Bulge and maybe the most famous quote from World War II. Reportedly spoken December 22nd, 1944, that word? Nuts. The world would never be the same. Welcome to Midpoint. Military historian and assistant professor at Rogers State University in Oklahoma, also co-author of Ways of War, American Military History from the Colonial Era to the 21st Century, Dr. David Ulbricht joins us. Dr. Ulbricht, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited about this interview. Is nuts an actual quote? Because I have read in a couple of places that it might have been the general just sloughed it off and said, well, nuts to him. Do we know for sure what he said and how he said it? There, there, are, there is some rumors that it wasn't accurate, but I, I think it's become such a almost a, uh, an urban legend or a cliche that it makes such a great story that I'm going to go with the accuracy. Yeah, I think we need to stay there, too, because if it's in the movies, it must be correct. At least we have to keep telling ourselves that, right? Let's set the scene. Let's go back December 17th, 1944, this day right now. Christmas is coming up. What were the American soldiers actually facing on the ground? Well, they were facing one of the coldest winters in recorded European history, especially the uh, divisions on the front line there, like the 99th Division and the 106th Division, were cold and hungry. Uh, they, uh, they really weren't expecting to fight, uh, so they were in really rest and refit. Uh, and then uh, yesterday, uh, 70 years ago yesterday, uh, the Germans uh, came through, uh, came over top of them. Uh, right out of the uh, the morning mist. When we talk about the German push here and the Americans not being ready, I think that's what Americans today would go, how could you not have been ready? You were in a war situation in the Ardennes. Certainly, they had to know the Germans were close, and they were caught without any cold-weather gear whatsoever, and many men froze to death. How could we not have been ready? Well, it's part of it that, that for the last, you know, six months, uh, the Americans had been chasing the Germans uh, eastward across uh, across France, and so when you expect your um, your your enemy to be defeated, you don't expect them uh, to counterattack. It's all about assumptions, and I also think that the uh, uh, American uh, intelligence uh, uh, network failed. Is it fair to say that had the American forces not been able to break the Germans at the Battle of the Bulge, that? Our sitting here today would be under very different circumstances. Uh, yes and no. Uh, I don't think that Adolf Hitler could have uh, reached uh, Antwerp. That was his ultimate goal for his soldiers. Even if they had reached Antwerp, uh, that would have set the war back three or four months. But by then, the American and uh, British juggernaut, the Allied juggernaut in the West, had gained such momentum that I think it would have delayed the war three, four, five, six months. But ultimately, uh, uh, Adolf Hitler's forces were not uh, developed enough to be able to maintain that present, uh, presence. He was kind of delusional in trying to uh, uh, set the war back or end the war. And the fact is, the British would have never uh, negotiated a separate peace regardless. So ultimately, it would have failed sooner or later. Unfortunately, the terrible amount of lives that would have been lost in four, five, or six months of Hitler still going to work. Uh, please stand by, Professor. We're going to break, and then we'll return. We're going to dig into what the Battle of the Bulge meant to American military strategy and how it resonates to this day. Uh, needless to say that you would have to guess they now make sure that the soldiers are prepared for just about anything. 70 years later and the Battle of the Bulge. More when we return right here on Midpoint.